Justin Trudeau was also at today's Capitals Pride. A huge wildfire near Kelowna, B.C. continues tonight, but fire crews are making progress. Some people have been cleared to return home. But with hot, dry weather coming back to the region, the battle isn't over yet. Brenna Rose is there. One after another, they lined up early to be escorted safely through the fire zone. Oh, in about an hour and 40 minute wait. Crews were bracing Saturday for very challenging firefighting conditions. And despite a really hot day here in Kelowna and dry conditions, around 11 o'clock this morning, the evacuation order was lifted and about half of the people were allowed to return home. We can, we can all get through this. Christy Rempel now has a new appreciation for home and the people living around her. This community of Joe Rich is amazing. Um, it was... <laughs> sorry. The past few days haven't been easy for her or the 1,100 other evacuees forced to flee the flames Thursday. It was awful to drive away and look in your rear view mirror and just see this huge plume of smoke and not know anything. Rempel may be home, but is on standby to leave at a moment's notice. The fire is still very much active and 500 people are spending another night out of their homes. Have you guys heard anything? I know it was really bad last night. Um, and yeah, I don't think we're going to be getting back for a while, unfortunately. For these neighbors outside the evacuation center, the next few days could be filled with even more waiting and uncertainty. As far as we know, our house is, is still there. I've been told that the fire is burning meters from it. With no sign of a drop in temperature or rain in the forecast. We're just uh, hoping that all the firefighters stay safe out there. A sentiment shared by everyone here going through this difficult ordeal. Brenna Rose, CBC News, Kelowna.